Hi, I'm Connor Oberly, and today we are in the interactive plant environment at Emerson's Minneapolis facility to learn how to configure the loop integrity diagnostic on Rosemount pressure transmitters. First, let's take a look at what loop integrity is and the benefits that it can provide when configured correctly. Loop integrity continuously monitors the transmitter's electrical loop and detects issues with the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. These issues include corrosion, water in the housing, an unstable power supply, or wiring and grounding issues. All of these issues can impact the reliability of the 4 to 20 milliamp loop, causing the control room to receive incorrect measurements and ultimately lead to safety and quality compromising decisions. Loop integrity works by baselining the conditions of the transmitter's electrical loop and monitors the relationship between the terminal voltage and output current. If the transmitter detects that the terminal voltage has deviated from a user-defined threshold, then the transmitter will output an alert or an alarm signifying a potential issue. Calibration and configuration should always be performed safely, and users should only remove the transmitter cover in approved and non-hazardous locations before beginning. Always consult the product manual and site-specific safety documentation. In order to configure the diagnostic, you need a transmitter and a heart communication method, such as an asset management system or handheld communicator. Today, I'll be using Emerson's AMS Trex. Once connected, navigate to the guided setup screen. Select Power Advisory Diagnostic. Then select Loop Power Characterization. Then click Characterize Loop. This characterization will baseline the electrical loop so the transmitter sees what proper operation looks like. The next screen is a warning that the transmitter you are configuring will be removed from process control. Select OK. The next step is to select the voltage deviation limit. This value will determine how much the voltage of the electrical loop can deviate before an alert is triggered. The default is set to 1.5 volts and is recommended to leave the default alone. Select OK. Lastly, select the type of alert that you would like to see. An alert or an alarm will be generated if the terminal voltage exceeds the previously set threshold. An unlatched alert will generate a notification and clear automatically when the process returns to normal, whereas a latched alert will require a manual reset to clear. An alarm will drive the milliamp output to an alarm state. I'll be selecting Alert Unlatched and select OK. Acknowledge the automatic control message that pops up and you're done. Now we are going to simulate the loop integrity diagnostic detecting corrosion in the electrical loop. I've connected a potentiometer in the loop to simulate the added resistance that would occur if corrosion was present either at the transmitter or down the line at a junction box. As we increase the resistance in the loop, the transmitter will detect the change in voltage and trigger an alert. And there's the alert showing on the display. If present, this alert will also be available on your asset management system. As you can see, configuring a Rosemount pressure transmitter to use loop integrity is extremely easy and it will detect issues that impact the integrity of the communication signal and electrical loop. For more information on advanced diagnostics, contact your local Emerson representative or visit our website.